Dream Crawl. How it's made. Today on How It's Made. Padlocks! Oh, padlocks. Now, uh, padlocks require a key. And the thing about the key is it is unique. Use it to lock away possessions such as bubble gum and razors and childhood pets. Three padlocks are lined up one next to another. They're all the master lock, by the way. Master lock. Master, master lock. This is the panel and this is the block. Possibly the heat sink. Yeah, we, we cut the heat sinks on this machine and they get stomped. Yeah. Like that. And they come out like this, you see. Suddenly they look incredibly useful. This grinder machine, it has many of these inside and they jangle all day. They look edible, but if you ate one, you would surely die. And this one is called the Zoom Store. It has poker chips at the sides, and that's because it's a gamble every time you use it. Now this is the Scrimshaw. The Scrimshaw is unquenchable. Oh, uh, you see it do that there, that's very cool. They also add honey to the mixture, and that is so bees do not open your padlock. And um, it sounds ridiculous, but bees can open padlocks. Yeah, that you found. I've, I found uh, bees opening my gate sometimes. Uh, you know, when they don't have honey in them, it's, it's a problem. Exactly, they're little little buggers. Now, they were surprisingly easy to bend, but don't worry because they were put in the fire, and now they are very solid. Thank God. This one here, look, they've, they need to put the lock inside it still, but they've made a hole for it to put inside. They've actually made a big mistake. They've put the, uh, the rod in before they added the lock, and now it's locked forever. No. They are two marbles for luck. Now this is the goo they put inside the lock. They make sure it's very, very gooey inside. Yes, it's actually a patented ketchup that you cannot buy from the shops. They call it Secure Chup. Secure Chup. Now this is the Crimpaw and it's designed for padlocking away your deepest secrets. The, this is gold, gold chips. Little chips of gold. They use the gold chips because they just like put their padlocks inside the gold chips to give them good luck. Exactly. It's a very expensive process for something that you never even see, but if your padlock didn't have good luck, uh, you don't know what might happen to it. You you rely on... You, you buy a padlock and it never gets broken, but that's all just good luck. You don't know it. They sometimes say that they actually... The shape of a padlock is based around the horseshoe to give it good luck. Exactly. Everything about uh, padlocks is good luck. They, they made keys a moment ago, that was quite cool, but that's over now, so sorry about that. They make, they make the keys to match the locks, I believe. I, I think they do, but um, I haven't checked. I didn't really do my research, but well, there's some more keys. Um, tell you what, uh, come, come back next week, I'll, I'll tell you how they do this bit. We'll, ju we'll just watch it for now. This is Belinda. Oh yes, Belinda. Yes, I did. I did meet her briefly. She, she was. She puts the springs inside the locks to make sure they're very springy. She was. She was an angry, angry lady. Very serious about padlocks. Yeah, you gotta be serious about your padlocks. I tried. I tried to make a joke. Um, she was talking about padlocks, and I said, "Well, I suppose this is how you lock up your daughters." And she just she just stared at me blankly. She was not amused. Yeah, she's just putting her rod down on this uh, padlock to make sure it's very tough 
because we don't want anyone to smash a lock with a large rod of steel. And that is the ideal way to smash a lock, and that's why Belinda performs this test. Ta-ra!